In this lesson, we're going to learn how to place windows into our model. Doors, openings, windows, what's the difference? Revit looks at the placement of these items exactly the same. The only difference is the button you push. Obviously, windows have some different property sets, and we'll examine that. The objective of this exercise is to learn how to place windows into our model and to learn how to adjust sill heights. Open the file you've been working on, or open the file called Chapter 3 and follow along. What I'd like to do is zoom into the north corner of this building here. We're going to place a window right here. So on the Architecture tab, click the Window button. The type of window I'd like to do is a fixed window. We don't have too many other choices. And I'd like to go down to 36 by 72 inches. Let's come over to this area and let's move the window down till we see our temporary tooltip show 1 foot and 8 feet on the other side. Once the window says 1 foot and 8 feet, we're good, but let's zoom in a little bit and look at the windows. The placement of the window is very similar to the placement of the door, whereas you can easily get them backwards. In a lot of cases, I do see windows placed incorrectly. This is wrong. This is right. We want to have the sill to the inside. So let's zoom back out and make sure we have 1 feet and 8 feet. And let's hit escape a couple times. What happened was, generally, you'd get a tag in here. On the doors, when we put the doors in, we had tag on placement checked. In this case, we didn't, but that's easy to fix in Revit. On the quick access toolbar, we have a button called tag by category. Go ahead and pick that. On the options toolbar, I'd like you to uncheck leader. What'll happen is, once we hover over this window, Revit's going to throw it in in the space we want. So when I pick that window, the tag is going to come in. Let's hit escape a couple times. We place this window based on an inside increment, but I'm not sure I like that. We want to make sure we have our brick coursing set up. So go ahead and select your window and grab that little grip and move it to the outside face of the wall. 2 foot 1 and 7 eighths inch is not correct. So what I'd like to do is click on the 2 foot 1 and 7 eighths and just type in a 2 and hit enter. Now that window is 2 feet from the outside face of the brick to the corner of the window. Also, what I'd like to do is zoom in a little bit. With the window still selected, notice again that you have the little flip grip. We can flip it incorrectly or flip it correctly, whichever way you choose. But notice when we flip it incorrectly, Revit will modify the wall corner to aid in the placement of the window. Let's place more windows. On this window, go ahead and right click on it and create similar. Notice we do that for everything in Revit. This time, let's make our life a little easier and click Tag on Placement. Let's put this window in an eyeball at one foot. You know we're going to make the adjustment in a second. Pick that point. Notice that it automatically tags it. Notice that you have a temporary dimension. Hit Escape a couple times. Select your window. Grab the grip and bring it up to the outside face of the wall and change it to two feet. Next thing I want to do is introduce you to a new command. It's called copy. What we're going to do is copy this down 10 feet. I'm going to hold the control key down and click on my tag and click on my window. On my modified tab, I'm going to click the copy button. Copy is a two pick process. First you pick a base point, and then you pick a point you want the window to resolve at. So the first point I'm going to pick is this point right here you see the end point show up. As I pick that point, I'm going to bring my cursor straight down the wall until I see 10 feet. Once I see 10 feet, I'm going to pick that second point. My window's copied, so is my tag. Now, let's look at how our windows look from the outside. On the quick access toolbar, click the default 3D view. Hold down the shift key and the wheel key, and let's wheel around till we see our windows. The windows seem a little low, so what I'd like to do is select one of the windows, right click, select all instances in entire project. What this does is it selects every fixed window, 36 by 72, in the entire project. Knowing that we only have three windows in here now, we're pretty safe. What I'd like to do is raise that sill height up so we're not interrupting that ledge. For the sill height, let's type 3 space 6 and hit enter in the properties dialog. Hit apply, and it's going to move our windows up to not interrupt that sill ledge. Let's go back down to floor plan level 1 and take a look at the properties of the 